بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى has created us all and at the moment we are living in a temporal phase which is called dunya this world and in that as I mentioned a person is tested through different modes and different ways one is regarding the pursuing and attaining of wealth and dunya and materialistic gain this is also something uh, which a person have to face so on this regard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam also gave very very clear guidance in uh, different uh, hadith so one of the hadith narrated in the book of Imam ibn Majah Sunan ibn Majah Sayyidina Jabir bin Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said ayyuhan nas ittaqullah O oh people, be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's existence, His power, His qudra over you. Because this is a very big thing actually, that a person, if they are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His sifat, that brings moderation in the person. So thinking that the very next second person can leave this world, your heart can stop. Or you see, you've seen people who have their minds, their brain have stopped working or they have lost memory. They are everything. They have money, they have property, uh, but they, are, they can't remember what they've eaten even one hour before. The memory is gone. So they are like a living dead. They can't recognize their own relatives, meaning this uh, can happen to anyone. So there's so many, so all, all that, who hold this control and power? Because now I'm saying I'll do this, uh, tomorrow I'll do. Even this memory is gift from Allah and Allah has power over it. And if it you lose, then actually nothing and can happen, nothing means anything to you. It don't mean anything. Money doesn't mean anything to you. Relative doesn't mean anything to you. You've lost it. Everything is there. Your body is there. Everything is functioning. Only the memory part for them. So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa reminded firstly uh, to people that Ayyuhan nas, O people, ittaqullah, that think about Allah, and fear him and his power and might and also think about he cares for you he wants goodness for you he has created you and he created the world and he said that seek dunya but be moderate in seeking a living moderation Meaning the one is that a person is completely off the track and he or she forgets the difference of halal and haram. It's just the, the I want to get something together. Uh, the luxurious or whatever, the money or the bank balance. And they are not concerned with it is halal or haram, lawful, unlawful. That's, so that's one extreme. And the other is that you do not do anything. You are just a burden upon other people. You are begging or in a modern day world you can say like uh, you are just on social security for no reason. It's not that you can't find, it's just that you are too lazy to work. So you are burdened upon the public fund. That, that's what uh, laziness means or the begging. If you are begging in modern uh, you may say, way actually. So, so both of them, actually they are extremes. So one is, 
you go completely off the track and without any distinction you are you forgot your obligation to Allah and the deen and the people and other and you are day and night like headless chicken running 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 seven days a week and most of the hours and that's that's another extreme and one and the other is this so Prophet Islam sallallahu alayhi wa says of ajmilu be moderate and seek the world in a beautiful manner meaning your way of earning should also or way of actually should be uh, beautiful and moderate meaning good not actually harming others you can serve and earn فَإِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَن تَمُوتَ حَتَّى رِزْقَهَا for no soul will die until it has received all its risk and all its provision. All its provision they have not received. So when this is the thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making clear the Prophet, through the Prophet والسلام, that you will not die until you receive your so what is this hurry, what is this extreme, what is this unlawful means and actually leaving other obligation. What is that about then? وَإِنْ أَبْطَ عَنْهَا فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ وَأَجْمِلُوا فِي الطَّلَبِ خُذُوا مَا حَلَّا وَدْعَوْ مَا حَرُمَا And then Prophet Islam said, Think, be conscious of Allah's power that if He has said to you, for example, that He will provide that you will attain, there is a portion, then no hurry. And be moderate in seeking provision. Do not actually, that if you, for example, sometimes people want it quick. They want to become rich quickly. So he said, even if it is slow in coming, there is a point of time that if you are, you can go and rob a bank or steal from someone or sell drugs, become but the amount you are going to get from there will be unlawful but if you what the hadith is referring to if you moderately make effort maybe after six months one year the same amount will come to you but in a good in a lawful manner so he said even if it is slow so don't be um, deceived by that is not coming yet. The, it will. It has the pointed portion will come. So hold your rein and be a moderate in seeking provision. Take that which is permissible. So what should a person do? Simply, what is the formula? Formula is khazu ma halla. Take what is halal, wa da'u ma harum, and leave what is haram. So this way, this is moderation working, doing business, but actually in this. And when shaitan does actually, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, the shaitan wa ya'idukum ul faqr Yani shaitan actually uses this tool to get people sinning and get people doing criminal activity financially and otherwise by saying, oh, you won't have this, you want it now, you will quickly become actually this, you will quickly have this, do this, if you use this technique, this, this, and you will, and then you can be fine. Shaitan uses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he says, well, yeah, shaitanu ya'idukum al-faqr wa ya'murukum bil-fusu, bil-suwe wal-fahshai, and because of that, he then engages you in wrong activity and abominable activity, be it sexual intimacy, be it uh, to do with the wealth, both are risk. Wife, children, they are risk as well. Money, this risk as well. So beautify, meaning good way, meaning if you go towards uh, this, you go to, there's a uh, way of nikah, there is way of halal earning and things, but maybe you get it a little bit late, but that will be more pleasurable more actually enjoyable and there'll be more barakah. In the Apple Islam name, 
صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم امام ترمز ابن ماجہ نے اس حدیث کو روایت کیا کہ دنیا کے بارے میں پیسے کے بارے میں کیا کرنا چاہیے بندے کو تو آپ نے فرمایا ائی الناس اے لوگو اتق اللہ کے خیال کرو اللہ کے بارے میں سوچو اس کا خوف اس کی قدرت کہ اس نے تمہیں پیدا کیا ہے وہ کیا کہہ رہا ہے وہ کیا وہ اس کی کتنی قدرت ہے کہ تم اس کی نافرمانی کی طرف اس کو بھول کے رزق کی طرف نہ جاؤ اس کے بارے میں تصور کرو کیوں اس نے پیدا کیا تمہیں اتق اللہ و اجمل فطلب رزق حاصل کرنے کے بارے میں اعتدال درمیانہ رستہ اختیار کرو خوبصورت طریقے سے اختیار کرو یہ مطلب یہ کہ نہیں کہ ایک حد پہ چلے گئے اب بالکل حلال حرام کی تمیز ختم یا دوسری حد پہ چلے گئے اب مانگنا تانگنا لوگوں سے پیسے لے کے قرضہ لے کے اور پھر واپس نہ کرنا یا پبلک فنڈ پہ بوجھ بن جانا کہ یہ نہیں اگر تو ضرورت ہے پھر تو وہ کرے لیکن صرف سستی کی وجہ سے تو وہ یہ کام نہ کرے یعنی دونوں چیزیں مانگنا تانگنا اور پھر رز کے حرام کمانا یہ یعنی انتہا پسندی ہے تو فرمایا کہ اس لیے فعین نفس لن تمو تحت تستوفیا رز کہا فرمایا میں محمد الرسول اللہ سچ تمہیں کہہ رہا ہوں جن سے سچی ہستی اللہ نے مخلوق میں پیدا نہیں کی کہ جب تک کوئی بندہ اپنا رزق پورا نہیں کرے گا وہ دنیا سے نہیں جائے گا اس کو موت نہیں آ سکتی تو جب یہ معاملہ ہے تو کیوں پھر تم یہ نمازیں بھی چھوڑ کے بیٹھے ہو لوگوں کے ساتھ بھی زیادتی کرتے ہو حلال حرام کی تمیز ختم کر دی تو پھر یہ کیا ہے وہ ان اب تا انہا ہاں یہ ہے کہ بعض دفعہ یہ ہے کہ وہ اس کے اپنے وقت پہ آتا ہے وہ دیر سے اس نے رزق نے وہ چھ مہینے بعد آمنا ہے پانچ مہینے بعد آمنا ہے آپ جو ہے ابھی چاہتے ہیں جی میں اپنے طریقے سے جو ہے وہ غلط طریقہ اختیار کر کے ابھی رات و رات میں امیر بنوں وہ پھر جو ہے شیطان اسی چیز کو استعمال کر کے جلد بازی کے بندے کو جو ہے وہ نقصان پتا جائے فرمایا بھائی ان اب تعن ہا کب چاہے وہ دیر سے آئے گا تم جو ہے اطمینان رکھو اللہ پر بھروسہ رکھو اللہ پر توکل رکھو وہ اج بلوفی طالب احتدال کا رستہ اختیار وہ کیا ہے حضو ما حلہ حلال لے لو وہ داؤ ما حرما اور حرام رستہ آئے تو وہ چھوڑ دو اس میں اٹریکشن کشش بہت ہوگی کہ کر لو یہ ہو جائے گا تم لیکن یہ سارے لوگ کشش میں ہی آ کے جتنے بھی دھوکے میں آئے ہوئے ہیں کیونکہ شیطان اس کو استعمال کرتا ہے بندے کے خلاف جیسا کہ اللہ پانے قرآن مجید میں فرمایا شیطان و یاد کم الفق و یا امر کم الفق شیطان جو ہے تمہیں کہتے تمہیں ملے گا نہیں تمہیں اب نہیں ملے گا تم جلدی لینا چاہیے تمہیں یہ پیسہ نہیں ملے گا اس لیے چوری کرو دھوکہ کرو فراڈ کرو تمہیں یہ عورت نہیں ملے گی تم جو ہے زنا کرو شراب پیو پھر تمہیں یعنی وہ یہ بندے کو ذہن میں ڈالتا ہے کہ تمہیں نہیں ملنا تم جلدی ملے گا ایسا کرو گے تو بس اسی میں بندہ دھوکہ میں آ جاتا ہے ورنہ اس کا رزق جو ہے وہ اس تک جو ہے وہ ضرور یعنی پہنچتا ہے اچھے طریقے سے اگر وہ صبر کریں